my embryo transfer FET is starting in like three minutes. We're doing this over virtual, which is crazy. I, I'm grateful because it's kind of far, so it's nice to not have to drive down there, but I really hate the virtual thing because everyone's talking over each other. It just gets crazy, but whatever. This is the world we live in right now, so I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so nervous. I don't know if the nerves are like a sign that this is not the right time or if the nerves are just a product of me having a miscarriage. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm just really nervous. Mike is not here because he is running around with our toddler. Luke is not quiet, so there's just not really a way, without getting a sitter, there's just not really a way that we could do this together. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it, be a grown-up. <laughs> do things by myself and uh we'll see what the doctor has to say hopefully it's good news i'm a little worried about the progesterone allergy thing but we'll see we'll see how we move forward from this oh and ignore the super dirty craft room behind me this is what it is hi oh i can't hear you hold on i can't hear you Let's see. I don't know what to do. No, I can't hear you. What is happening? I don't know what's going on. Of course there's something wrong. <laughs> so this is not the only time this has happened? No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Every day, huh, bud? Can you wave? Look at me. No? Too busy. Too busy for that. I went and like changed my clothes and was ready to move on with my day and realized I didn't update you on the phone call. Um so where to begin? So with all of my progesterone allergies that had happened with the last transfer, um we, the doctor has decided that we're gonna do one more try with a vaginal progesterone. We didn't do a vaginal progesterone. Ooh, careful. With the last cycle, we tried two different injectable ones, two different oils, and then we did a, just an oral. And then, so we're gonna try a vaginal one. We're going to test, basically we're gonna do a test. What do you call it? I'm gonna take it not in a in a embryo transfer Ooh, careful cycle so i will be doing that just in my normal cycle just to see how my body reacts to it um if if i don't have a reaction then like an allergic reaction i should say then we will move forward doing a transfer with the vaginal progesterone if I do have a reaction, then we will be doing a natural cycle transfer, which terrifies me, but it is what it is. Um, if I, if I uh, 
react to the vaginal progesterone, then she will test my progesterone levels before we do a transfer. And um, she said progesterone levels are really difficult to test because the number can be so I can't remember the word she used, but basically there's just like a really broad scale of what's considered okay and it's different for everybody. And so it's really hard to test progesterone levels unless you feel like it's extreme one way or the other. So if I have like zero progesterone or if I know my progesterone is really high, but my progesterone levels have never been tested in my forever years of fertility. How many years have I been infertile? I mean, 12 and a half minus the whole fact that I had one child. <laughs> but I would still say I'm infertile even though I have a kid because I had to have MVIV. Um, they've never been tested. So she said she would if my body cannot tolerate the vaginal progesterone and she said she would test my progesterone levels. So we'll see. Um, we're shooting for a transfer probably not for another two months. So we have plenty of time to see how my body will react to this progesterone. Um, and then if there's no progesterone, there's no estrogen, they literally like do ultrasounds. It's like when you do a IUI and in, in insemination and they do like ultrasounds and they're like tracking your cycle basically. To, seeing, to see when you naturally ovulate, and that's how they decide when to do the embryo transfer, which is funny to me because in my mind, I'm not a doctor, but in my mind, I'm like, I thought you could do an embryo transfer anytime, but that's not true. Um, I don't know, I mean, I guess that's silly, because obviously I know you can't, that's why they put you on all these drugs, you know, the birth control and the estrogen and all that, but anyways, so I would have to do like the obvious, oh, I need to write that on my list. Ovulation sticks, I have to do the ovulation sticks and um, everything just to make sure that we um, time everything perfectly. The ovulation sticks I need to do for the progesterone because I need to do the test progesterone in the second half of my cycle. So I need to put some of those up at the store so I make sure I take it at the right time. But anyway, it was good. It was a good visit. I feel a lot more calm after talking with her. I was really nervous before it started. So it's nice to like have that peace of mind and I feel like moving forward is okay. I'm really nervous about it not working obviously, having to do a natural, well probably having to do a natural cycle. But that's just the card we've been dealt. <laughs> that's crazy. I can't even believe that I have to do a natural cycle. I have been on so many drugs over the years. So many different drugs for infertility and now when things start working for me, now I have to have an allergic reaction. It makes me crazy. Look at you! You got a jingle bell? Where did you get that? Don't mind the haircut that I gave him. It's fine. I don't know how to cut kids' hair. Oh, you wanna see? Who's that guy? You got a jingle bell? Can you shake it? Can you shake the jingle bell? Jingle bells, jingle bells. Where are you going? You've got to wave. All these people love seeing your cute face. Can you wave? <laughs> yeah, is that the camera? Can you wave? Can you do twinkle, twinkle? He loves that song. <laughs> Little star, how I wonder what you are. Yeah, you do twinkle, twinkle. You want me to hold the bell? You do it? I'll hold it, you do twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. No? Yeah. How I wonder what you are. Oh, you're gonna say bye? Can you wave? We're gonna go see the ducks, huh? You wanna go feed the ducks? Should we go feed the ducks and go for a walk? Okay, can you say bye-bye? Blow a kiss. Very good. <laughs>